Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. I just wanted to start by saying a heartfelt thanks to everybody who's given me well wishes uh, while I recuperate with my issues with my um, back pain in my leg. So I'm not 100%, but I'm itching to get back to work on this Julie Nutting Paper Doll Altered Book series. So um, here's my idea for the next layout. So this one was the fashion show where this flips out and makes a longer page and then it folds back onto this page so you can add it to this layout and then it will flip over here and make a long layout here. So I love that. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is to put some pages together on this end to make a set. So that's what I'm going to do first and then I'll show you my idea for the page. And I'm definitely going to be using these two. Um, this is uh, Ciara and Becky. These were uh, gifted to me from my Amazon wish list from Flora. Again, thank you so much, Flora. These are going to be so cute on this page layout and the idea that I have. So thank you so much, and let's get started and have some fun. So for this layout, uh, what I want to do, I have an idea that I want to make a sunflower garden. Um, I absolutely love sunflowers. My living room and kitchen are both decorated in sunflowers, and um, I think since this is a book I'm going to keep for myself and sunflowers are my favorite thing, there's got to be a layout with sunflowers. So what I want to do, especially since these are yellows, they look really cute. They'll go in really nicely with this layout. Um, so what I want to do with this one, my idea for using this one, um, I had the idea that I'm going to turn some of the Julie Nutting dolls into actual sunflowers standing in the garden. So you'll see what I mean when I get further into it. So like for her outfit, um, like where those little ties hang down, those are going to be leaves instead of ties. She's going to have green tights on and green shoes. Her outfit's going to be green. So her body is going to just um, be technically the stem. She is going to have some um, petals and leaves. And then her hair, I love that she's got this curly, cute, dark hairstyle, that's a perfect center for a sunflower. So that her hair is going to be the center. There's going to be sunflower petals coming out from her. Um, Becky, I think she would be a really cute gardener for this sunflower garden. So I'm going to decorate her. She kind of looks like she could be um, in a garden, working in her garden. So I think I'm going to put little uh, gardening tools in her pockets and give her a watering can and give a really cute saying on the page about something about um, you know, tending to your garden or something cute. I'll come up with something there. But I'm going to pick out a couple more Julie Nutting paper doll stamps and see which ones I have that might really uh, lend them themselves to looking like sunflowers in the garden. So here we go. These are the three that I've chosen. Um, Beautiful, Tasha, and Marisol, which I've, I've used them before already in these layouts, but I'm going to make them so different that you won't even notice it. But see how long and skinny this one is. This would be a perf one, perfect one to do all in green for the stem body and then the sunflower head. This one I'm not going to make the dress at the bottom um, wide like this. I'm going to just make it come down and be skinnier at the bottom. So this will be a cute one. And then same with this one. Um, this part, I won't use this part of it. I'm only going to use this part of it so it'll look like she's actually growing up out of the ground. So yeah, um, that's the fun thing about doing this is you're using the same stamps over and over sometimes, but you can um, do the reverse stamping method with stamping it onto a uh, jelly plate with your ink and then use um, flip your jelly plate over and use it as a stamp with the ink and this girl will turn up flip the other opposite way if you want it to be different from maybe how she's presented herself earlier in the book flip her over and have her being reversed um, you know doing different things like using pieces or leaving out pieces, omitting pieces, reshaping dresses, bodies, adding things, things like that. So that's where we get creative with using these over and over. 
So let me get started and work on these girls and then I'll come back and show you my idea for the layout. If you've just found this video, this is um, really far into the series and there's a playlist for all the videos. You can start this project whenever you like, go at your own pace, but start with video one so then you'll understand about uh, the project and what we're doing with the altered book and then the different layouts and how they interact with each other. So for this one, as I've shown in previous videos. I like to use my um, Dilutions, Ranger Dilutions journal block as my stamp platform. I absolutely love it. Works great. And for this one, what I decided to do, I always, as I've shown in my other videos, I always start by stamping a full base and then I layer on top of that base. And um, what I want to do with this is she's got her leg kicked out and I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp this twice and I'm actually gonna change the position of her legs to bring it in. And then I found a bunch of pattern papers with really, really tiny patterns on them all in different greens, and that's gonna be their outfits. So here is my girl, and um I've put some pattern paper that's really, really textured for her little dress and little polka dot green paper for her legs. I put some green Nuvo drops on her little shoes. All their hair are in are in brown. And so here's what all of them look like. So they all have green outfits and all the outfits have been modified to make them very skinny because the point is, is that that's the stem and the brown hair is the center of the sunflowers. And then um, now I'm going to make the petals to the sunflower. So let me show you how I'm, I'm gonna do I'm just using that. scraps of yellow cardstock that I have in my scrap drawer. And I'm gonna put her down on this piece of scrap and use a pencil. Let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Be sure I'm on camera, okay. And I'm gonna just start at the top and I'm gonna start drawing petals to create this. sunflower all around her. And then I'm going to cut it out and shade it with colored pencils and stuff. But essentially there's the sunflower and I'm going to just pull this away and trim that out and do some um, artwork to it and then glue it into place so she's going to become the sunflower and then I'm going to put some petals I mean some uh, leaves on them so they've got leaves coming out of them like their stems and so they're going to be sunflowers in the garden so I'm going to go ahead and make a sunflower for each one of the girls heads so here's what it looks like I cut it out I use some Tombow mono liner pens to do the black lines and then I use colored pencil and some alcohol markers to make the shadows so this is what she's gonna look like when you put her head in place I love it but as you guys know I have to always take things a step further so I drew a couple of extra petals with my Tombow mono liner and add some shading to them and I'm going to add those in there and bend them so I get some dimension in this. So I'm going to take these petals and what I'm going to do is just wrap them around my pencil. This is just my colored pencil. I'm going to wrap them around my colored pencil and shape them so they're kind of like that. And then I'm going to use some art glitter glue and just put a little glue at each tip on the back side like that and put them into place. Oh, I guess I didn't need glue at the top. You only need the glue at the bottom. And just find some places where I can stick a few of those. I only made three. But this is just going to give it even more oomph and dimension. It looks going to be so cute. Oh, that looks so cute. It gives it so much dimension. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to put some glue on the back of her head. Pop it into place. I 
I did that same technique on her bangs of her hair. I stamped the hair twice onto brown cardstock, and I cut them out separate so the bangs are a separate piece. I fold them over like that over a pencil to make them rounded. And then I put a little pop dot behind them, see if you can see that. So then the bangs are, are nice and dimensional too. But look at how cute. Now you've got some dimensional petals on the flower. And there is her sunflower. Oh, so cute. Love it. So I'm going to do that to all four of them and then start working on the background of the page. So here's what my girls look like. And what I did for my background was basically super easy just to sponge some blue and sponge some green. Um, just something simple and I love the blue background makes them pop but I want them in a field of sunflowers and I had a great sunflower stencil can't locate it at the very moment so I had a different idea so um, I'm gonna print off an image from the internet of a field of sunflowers and I'm gonna tear it into a strip kind of uh, fussy cut around the tops of a few of them and I'm going to Mod Podge it down just in a strip. I want to leave blue sky in a strip right here in the middle because I want them to look like they're coming out or standing in a field of sunflowers. My uh, Becky girl is going to go over here and I'm going to decorate her like a gardener. Right here I'm going to put a saying so I'll continue on and show you as I go along. So this is what I found on the internet, this cute picture of a field of sunflowers and and I love that it fits across two pages, which is perfect. So I'm going to do just tear that loosely and tear it across the bottom. And I'm going to put it down on this page and then put the girls in front of it. And then on this side, I'm going to put just a few um, because I don't want to really fill this space for the little gardener. But that's what I'm going to do. So I just wanted to show you find a picture on the Internet. If you're following along and doing the same kind of a layout, this is going to make a great background if you don't want to paint sunflowers individually or um, have a stencil, which I can't find my stencil at the moment. But uh, I was going to paint sunflowers in the background, but that would just be really time intensive. And I do love this photograph, so that's what I'm going to use. So here's how that looks. I just tore it roughly around uh, the bottom edge and the top edge. I cut this edge straight to put it on the edge of the book. I used uh, Mod Podge and put it down on the page. Then I took my sponge with the same paint I had used for the sky and a darker paint that an umber that matched this and I just spounced a little paint and then it blends that edge in so it shows but it doesn't look bad so that turned out really cute and I'm going to put just one right here I think something really smaller maybe one on this side so that I can put my little farmer girl so it's coming along so here's how that looks as a background and sometimes things happen for a reason if I had found that stencil I would have stenciled flowers in the background and I really like the photograph much much better look how cute that is with the girls in front look at and love my sunflower page so over here I just cut one out and put it over here my farmer girl's going to go kind of off to the side and in front of it am I saying right here so that's what I'm going to do next is go take back and turn her into a sunflower farmer. So I stamped her on a base sheet like I always do and then I build up on that. I double stamp the hair like this so I have a full hair that I can cut out and layer and then I cut the bangs out separate and pop them up on top of that to make the layered hair. I found this piece of um, these two pieces of scrap scraps from scrapbooking and they would be really cute for her outfit because what I want to do is to make this look like uh, overall so instead of where that little corner is of her blouse that makes it look like a top I'm going to cut that straight because then this whole thing is going to look like a one piece overall and I'm going to add a pocket right here that'll make it really look overall and then I can add gardening things to it. And I know her hands are behind her, but I'm still going to have a watering can sticking out from behind her. And then I'm going to show you how to create a hat, a straw sun hat to put on her head. So here's how she turned out. I love her little overalls. And if you can see the details that I added, what I did, I had those two pattern papers and 
Uh, I did the basic part of her overalls in the brighter blue and then the other one for the pockets and then I used a Tombow monoliner pen and stitched around them to make them look like denim. I made little cuffs at the bottom of her pants and then for her shoes I colored just part of the shoe leaving the tip light because I'm going to uh, tie embroidery floss and make those look like little tennis shoes. And I just wanted to show you how to make a hat. So what I like to do is to take tracing paper, and if you don't have tracing paper on hand, you can use a deli sheet, you can use parchment paper. They work great as tracing paper as well. So if you don't have any and you don't want to stop to buy tracing paper, then use what you've got in your kitchen. All right, so I put the paper over the doll. This is how I do it, just because I want to make a hat for her. And then I just sketch it out. So you can use a photo reference online if you don't know what a hat, you know, how to draw the hat or what it would look like. Go to your internet and look for a reference of somebody in a sun hat so you can see what it looks like. But I just trace it out. I put the paper over the girl, trace out the brim, trace out where the top part would be. And then I'm going to put this over her, over the um, paper that I cut it out of, cardstock, brown cardstock, and cut it out so you'll have the base shape for making a hat. Okay, so you couldn't see my pencil lines on camera, so I redid it in the Tombow monoliner so you could see it better. So here's what the little hat looks like, and now I've put it over cardstock, and I just hold on to both at the same time, and then I just cut it out. So. That's the easiest way to do it. You don't have to trace it onto the paper. You just trim right around this as you hold on to it and hold it in place. And then I'm going to go back in and color it with alcohol markers and fine liners and colored pencils to make it look like a straw hat. Well, guys, here it is from my previous page when it's folded over. These girls are in colors that go with sunflowers, so it just looks like a cute little layout until you flip the page open, and this is what you see. I love it. This is, I think, my favorite layout so far in this book. Um, here's my little, my little girl with her straw hat on, and I used a silk ribbon to make a bow. I put a heart on her little pocket on her overalls. Tied, tied embroidery floss, a single strand to make her little tennis shoes. I used my old 40 year old vintage manual typewriter and I typed on tissue paper, hands in the dirt, head in the sun, heart with nature. And she's got a watering can behind her and I use Nuvo drops to make actual water droplets coming out of the watering can. I drew my little signature dragonflies that I put on a lot of my artwork. And so there's little dragonflies. I added some little paint pen dots for like pollen in the air. And here are my beautiful sunflower girls from the Julie Nutting dolls. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute in person and was so much fun to create. Thank you so much, Flora for um, Becky and I enjoyed turning her into a garden girl and making her outfit look like overalls and adding a straw hat. I love um, uh, Ciara and I changed the shape of her legs and I loved her cute little hair. That's what inspired me to even do this sunflower page. So thank, thank you so much, Flora, for your gifts. And I enjoyed some nice uh, Earl Grey tea. She uh, gave me some Earl Grey tea off my Amazon wish list. So I got to try some Earl Grey tea I hadn't tried, and it was wonderful. And I drank it while I made this page. So thanks again for all the well wishes. I'm glad that my back has settled down and I'm able to be back at my desk and creating art again again because boy as I say all the time art soothes the heart it truly does for me so I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for stopping by until the next layout in our Julie Nutting paper doll altered book keep on uh, posting your pages of what you're creating I'm loving seeing what you guys are creating and I'm so happy to hear that you are having fun with this project so thanks for stopping by go make art because art soothes the heart